So for the, the demand for product management has really exploded recently. Companies are investing more and more into digital and transformation of their businesses. And of course, this means that um, the return on investments that they need and want from this has much higher expectations than ever before. Digital is absolutely business critical for basically every industry today. Um, and product management is at the center of that. And the, and the purpose of the discipline is really, really simple. Product managers have to create better commercial outcomes from digital solutions by determining what the right thing to build is. They can only allow ideas that have been validated by the business, by tech teams, and by the customer to make it to market. They have to prevent wastage. And this is how the return on investment is achieved. But then that begs the question, how do you figure out what the right thing to build is? And product management as a discipline has two core objectives, really. So the first is to define the product strategy and vision, to understand why you exist in the first place and what kind of future you want to create for you and for your customers. The second is to manage ongoing discovery, to constantly challenge, test, and iterate um, products as you move towards that future. One of the industries which is seeing um, product-led disruption at a huge scale right now is the financial services. So the, the number of fintech companies entering the market over the last few years has been absolutely phenomenal. And the majority of the big hitters and most visible ones in this space have been on, in con consumer finance. So personal banking and payments. Um, but really interestingly, recently there's been a few really big land grabs, especially in America, on the investments and savings um, markets. And there continues in the background to be lots of interesting services emerging, such as banking as a service, which is facilitating the really rapid growth of a lot of these um, startups, as well as enterprises as well, to help them stay um, in the race. So for those old um, incumbent financial institutions, this means that it's not only their profitability that's under threat, but it's also their purpose. And the digital touch points for their customers needs to have a really clear strategy in a far more competitive marketplace, um, and they need to be able to pivot and react faster than ever before to keep up with their customer demands. And for the disruptors on the other side of the fence, the race to find product market fit, as well as profitability, is fraught with risk, requiring not only a really strong vision, but also, again, an adaptive approach to product development based on a really strong foundation of constant discovery. There really is no silver bullet for what is an incredibly complex industry and market, but one thing for certain is that without strong product management at the centre of, of this transformation that the industry is seeing, it's going to be nearly impossible to thrive and adapt. Um, digital is at the centre of the, of the financial services revolution right now, and companies must be able to first define a clear strategy and vision for their products, but then move forward towards um, that vision um, by determining what the right thing to build is.